I always thought I would be here as a conqueror. Mm. We are the Earth King's personal guests. Here to serve him tea. Yeah, and to dodge lightning. Be ready. Oh my god, this positive Suko is gonna eat lightning. You can check out my Patreon for exclusive show reactions, uncut reactions, early access, and other perks. Link is in the description. What's poppin' guys? We're back with Avatar The Last Airbender. It's book two, final episode, episode 20. Man, this is going by kind of fast now. It's crazy. We're After this, we're already in book three. That's the last book. I think it's got about the same amount of episodes. So yeah, it's the last book after this. It's kind of sad but i mean we still got um, ways to go a uh, whole book so let me not get sad but uh, when this show ends i'm gonna be a little bit bummed out but whatever i can always rewatch it i guess last episode ang visited the guru he unlocked i think seven chakras well he did unlock six he was supposed to unlock seven i believe but the seventh one was a little bit too much for him to handle he had to let go of katara to get rid of earthly attachments which i think he said it went against everything the monks taught him and yeah it seems a little off you know you need to let go of your loved ones you know i talked about it last episode as well it's a little weird but i do understand that it kind of gives you a free headspace i guess if you have no attachments at all your focus doesn't shift you don't get emotional as well remember he gets emotional when something happens to appa or when something happens to Katara as well. We saw that in um, episode one of book two, I believe, you know, when that earth general was testing him, he got emotional as well. So maybe he means that he's he doesn't have that emotional anger anymore when he lets go of everything. I don't know. Whatever, Aang didn't do it. He saw Katara as in danger, broke everything off. The guru hinted at the fact that Aang will not be able to ever go into the avatar state. I don't know if that's like forever or as long as he doesn't unlock that chakra. I think if he unlocks that chakra, eventually he'll be able to go back Back in but i can't see that happening so maybe it's an avatar with no avatar state or he'll find it uh, other way around um, we'll see Toph unlocked a new ability because she wasn't op enough she wasn't already strong enough she wasn't already clutch enough she needed a, you know what let's throw some metal bending in there let's go <laughs> it's crazy yeah that shit had me hype yeah she locked the two clowns in the metal cage they're gonna suffocate and dehydrate and starve to death which is probably not something this kid show is gonna touch on but i mean what else is gonna happen unless somebody shows up <laughs> She then went full sprint back to Ba Sing Se on freaking mountains, man. This girl, man, whatever. I, I'm a, I'm a fanboy. I'm a tough fanboy. Zuko and Iroh were happy or are happy in their tea shop until Katara showed up and saw them. She immediately went to the Kyoshi warriors, Azula and the gang, and told them. And now Azula knows Zuko's there, so everything is gonna go to shit now. The peaceful tea serving life is over and it sucks because Zuko just got went through his transformation and now he's gonna get pulled into all of this shit again but I mean I can't blame Katara she doesn't know she just sees the guy that was chasing them in Ba Sing Se and she's like oh god he's, he's still chasing us I mean I can't blame her Sokka wasn't able to stay with his dad Aang picked him up because obviously you know the crew needs to get back together it's it's getting dangerous we need to save Katara so yeah it's sad but at least he got to see his dad for a little bit to kind of like check in real quick everything's okay he wanted to fight with him obviously but yeah um gotta save the sister and you also saw the little scene of his dad smiling so he's kind of proud of seeing Sokka you know have this of this much of an important role in the freaking future of the world basically you know he's a he's a huge part of that while traveling with the avatar and everybody else so yeah he's proud of him yeah so it seems like everybody's on their way back to basing say to get katara and yeah i feel like shit's gonna pop off in this final episode and i can't wait as always like subscribe comment patreon discord links are down below and let's go the crossroads of destiny okay let's go so what kind of trouble is Katara in? A lot of trouble. Like Azula level trouble. What is that? Ooh, that's a problem. That's what that is. <laughs> that's a goddamn problem. A metal bending problem. If I sense any disloyalty, any hesitation, any weakness at all, I will snuff it out. Oh yeah, and she will. I believe it. Oh, you better look straight, bro. <laughs> It's weird. Does the Dai Li not have loyalty towards the Earth King? I get it. Long Feng is like their kind of their general, but is there no like you know patriotism in the Dai Li? Maybe some of them, and they just go with the flow because they're scared of consequences. But I feel like there should be some loyalty to the Earth Kingdom as well, right? Come on, where's the where's the heart for the Earth? There's 
There's still a few loose ends. Okay. The Avatar. Oh. And my brother and uncle. Oh, I thought she meant loose ends in the daily. I always thought I would be here as a conqueror. Mm. We are the Earth King's personal guests. Here to serve him tea. Yeah, and to dodge lightning. Be ready. Oh my god. This positive Suko is gonna eat lightning. Uh... If you leave now, you won't be able to go into the Avatar state at all. It went great with the guru. I completely mastered the Avatar state. Oh, come on, Ang. You gotta stop lying, bro. You still lie? I thought you let go of that chakra. What happened? You closed that bitch up again? Shit. Maybe the Earth King overslept? Mm-hmm. The Earth King's sleeping forever. Something's not right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I feel like, yeah, if the if the Dai Li starts surrounding you, then something might not be right. <laughs> Good eyes, Zuko. Azula. Have you met the Dai Li? They're earthbenders, but they have a killer instinct that's so firebender. Damn. Did I ever tell you how I got the nickname, the Dragon of the West? Oh, shit. You gonna learn today. Interested in a lengthy anecdote, uncle. Oh, you gonna listen it's to this? Of a demonstration reel. Oh, shit. Oh, he knows what's gonna happen. Eat that shit, bro! I've never seen a firebender do that. Yup, lightning. Oh no, that was Iroh making a hole. Okay. Shoot, I thought Azula was shooting already. No, I'm tired of running. Uh, what? With the Dai Li there? I was like, shit, I did all of that for this? <laughs> I challenge you. No thanks. She's not gonna run the fair one. And all of that progress is gone. Well, probably not it's gone, but... Fine. You have nothing to worry about. Man. And this king doesn't have no idea what's going on in his kingdom at any point in time. He doesn't know anything what the hell's going on. Believe me, if there was any danger at all, Bosco's animal instincts would sense it. Yeah, okay. Bosco seems a little too relaxed. Damn. Where did they put... Zuko. Well, this is gonna be awkward. There's no one else here. Katara is in trouble. I knew it. Katara's fine. You have nothing to worry about. Wait. Someone's at the door. Oh. It's an old friend of mine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you might have, like, you know, explain further to them, Toph, that you met him. You guys know each other? <laughs> I met him in the woods once and knocked him down. Then he gave me tea and some very good advice. That's an eye roll, yeah? You knock him down, he'll give you tea and advice. Believe me when I tell you there is good inside him. Good inside him isn't enough. Why don't you come back when it's outside of you, okay? <laughs> it's starting to go outside of him. I brought someone along who might be able to help us. Another one? Damn. Oh, he doesn't seem to be here by choice. <laughs> Azula and Longfang are plotting a coup. They're going to overthrow the Earth King. Okay, that was easy. That's the same guy that got scared from Masula. Deep beneath the palace. Okay, I recognize the scar. Yeah, he started singing, man, right away. <laughs> no torture needed, no interrogation. He was ready. <laughs> he sang the song of his people. <laughs> oh, yes. More than cooperating. She's really taken charge. She's terrifying <laughs> and inspirational at the same time. Oh, is he getting a little worried that she's, you know, too much? She's winning them over too much? You can finally have him in your little Fire Nation clutches. You're a terrible person, you know that? Oh my gosh, she's letting him have it. He's, he, all he can do is just sit there, man. <laughs> Oh, that's that's horrible. Just getting cooked. <laughs> I also liked um, that Iroh and the gang is working together now. I think that's the first time, really. It's weird, but I mean, it's kind of cool to see like the two groups kind of getting together now. And now you have the Zuko Kotara thing going on, which I don't know how this is gonna go yet. It's not starting off well, but understandable. You're the Fire Lord's son, spreading war and violence and hatred is in your blood. See, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. You have no idea what this war has put me through. Also true. The Fire Nation took my mother away from me i'm sorry damn he apologized that's something we have in common true i never even thought of it like that damn top thinks you give pretty good advice <laughs> and great tea 
The key to both is proper aging. Ooh, it's true. I like that. I met with this guru who was supposed to help me master the avatar state. This is gonna be interesting. I wonder what I was ha has to say. Perfection and power are overrated. I think you are very wise to choose happiness and love. Okay. Sometimes life is like this dark tunnel. You can't always see the light at the end of the tunnel, but if you just keep moving. You will come to a better place. Okay, bro, Iro, did you plan this out? Did you wait for the exact moment to drop these lines? He was so happy about the timing of this. <laughs> come on. <laughs> that was dope. So it, it's kind of like the tunnel they were in. And now this, obviously. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it's starting. He's getting snatched up. Can you help him? The coup is happening right now. Ah, uh, they probably can't get involved right now. They don't have the time. I don't know. Oh, damn. They planned this out good. Oh, this guy. Yeah, we know he's not ready. <laughs> in time for what? Yeah, what are you in time for? Wait, they don't recognize them? Oh, Toph does. Let's go. They're not the real Kyoshi warriors. Oh. <gasps> Man, this fucking clown, man, he said. <gasps> what? <laughs> this motherfucker, man. Man, get him off the throne, man. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, okay, how would he know? He never saw Kyoshi Warriors. <laughs> he's just, he's such a clown, bro. He's just, he just exists. He, there's nothing to him. No sustenance. <laughs> you. Okay, let's mix these fools up real quick. Come on, Toph, you leveled up. Is there some metal around? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Sokka hit this. Damn! Get them all out of my sight. Man, Earth King, you really like I don't whatever, let me stop cooking him. Now comes the part where I double cross you. Oh, already? Arrest the Fire Nation princess. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was worried about. They haven't made up their minds. They're waiting to see how this is going to end. You were born with nothing. So you've had to struggle and connive and claw your way to power. Damn! They don't know which one of us is going to be sitting on that throne and which one is going to be bowing down. So the Dai Li are a bunch of hoes. They're always on the winning side. They have no loyalty at all. Not even to Long Feng, not to the Earth Kingdom. They just switch around. You've beaten me at my own game. Shit. You were never even a player. Damn, Long Fang, you got embarrassed, bro. <laughs> she psychologically analyzed you in front of your people, bro. <laughs> Damn, she, she, she went back to your childhood, bro. <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah, don't mess with Azula, bro. I used to think this scar marked me, the mark of the banished prince. Mm. I've realized I'm free to determine my own destiny, even if I'll never be free of my mark. This is water from the spirit oasis at the North Pole. It has special properties, so I've been saving it for something important. Are you... I don't know if it would work, but... Like that? I mean, yeah, you know, you guys know I'm the biggest Zuko fanboy as well. I would like... But just like that, after like a 10 minute talk, you're gonna use your holy water on his scar? I mean, okay, sure. I mean, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not mad at it, but it seems kind of out of the blue a little bit. But okay, I mean, I guess they get along now. Sure, okay. But he's probably not gonna want it. You're all getting a little close here. <laughs> He's like, did I just see you two close together? You better stay away from my girl, bro. Like, not only are you haunting me, you're trying to take my girl too? With the avatar. <laughs> Saving you, that's what. Yeah. See how he's slowly getting angry again? All of this, seeing the avatar, seeing Azula, it's mixing him up again. I like that they had a talk though, him and Katara. And now you have come to the crossroads of your destiny. He said the episode title. <laughs> it's time for you to choose good. <laughs> Crystal bending? I guess it's a form of earth. You can still redeem yourself. The kind of redemption she offers is not for you. This glorious day in Fire Nation history. And the only way we win is together. You were hunting him. You try to capture him. Have your honor back. You will have father's love. Zuka don't fall for this shit. You are free to choose. Oh, she played that move. You're free to choose. Giving him the fake idea of actually being free to choose. She's going to strike you down if you make the wrong choice. 
Damn, she caught up quick. Okay, yeah, let's go. 2v1, easy money. Psych! Actually, let me not say that. It's Azula, but I should be able to handle her. The Dai though. Yeah, what's up? He's got Earth now, too. <laughs> oh, she's sweating already. Okay. Wait, what's up? After all that, are you... After all of this shit you've been through with Iroh, she was hunting you. You were literally freaking war criminals. M maybe he's playing... Is he... Well... Okay, let me... Once again, I gotta defend Zuko. Zuko, you lucky. You lucky I'm such an open-minded person, bro. Because other people would absolutely cook you right now. And I'm, I, I'd like to. But I do understand that it's a hard transition. And these factors that just came back into his life. Azula, the Avatar. And Azula, she, um, she played it well. She gave him the freedom of choice. She told him all the things he wanted his whole life. And it's tough to change your whole life in a span of a couple weeks. It's tough. So she gave him like this idea you can have father's love you can have all this your honor back blah blah you know all the stuff he he's looking for that he abandoned or he kind of was letting go of and now suddenly everything's back and it's confusing for a teenager you can't forget he's a teenager as well to to be hit with that i get it but i feel like you should use iroh more as an anchor and listen to him because after all of this you if you really think about it he's been kind of right all the time and he's the one who's always been by your side helping you so that shows you the loyalty. Azula's been hunting you. She tried to capture you, trap you. And just these few lines of she, she hit him with already shifted everything. And he's back in that, I need, I need this. This is my goal in life. It's, ah, it's tough. I get it, but I'm also upset. I'm, I'm upset at, at Zuko. I thought he finally got past that hurdle, but it seems like it's not that simple, I guess. Let's go. All clear. Oh yeah, that's right. This cell ain't shit. Let's go. I forgot. Bosco. Man, fuck Bosco. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, an air clone? That was epic. Yeah, that Zell ain't shit. She can just rip that out. I'm sorry, Bosco. I'm just upset right now. You did nothing to me. Oh, wait, that's powerful. Yeah, that looked powerful as hell. Fire whips. Man, Zuko, you're on my shit list again now. Yeah, come on, get that haircut. What's up? Yup. Smack some sense into him, him Ang. I guess wise words from Iroh are not helping anymore. Smack him around a bit. Okay, octopus. Ooh! Ooh! Wait, Katara? I'm upset. Yeah, tell him. I'm gonna focus on the episode, Zuko. I'm gonna deal with you later. Ooh, okay, they switched targets. Now it's Azula vs. Zhang. This is an epic fight. Okay, Crystal Man. Ah, Azula, you kind of bitched out, man. You let the fire go in front of you, but I mean, yeah, she's smart. Like this. <laughs> At least they're nice too. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just take the bear. <laughs> She's like, yeah, no, I don't want this problem. I'm good. I was gonna say, at least they're nice to Bosco. Damn, Ang, Ang. Katara's a beast, though. She was gonna take down Azula there, I feel like. You know, she caught Azula off guard until freaking Zuko intervened. Yeah, he ain't done. The music, bro. What's up? Man, this is not fair, but why would it be fair, right? The whole damn Dai Li army? Really? The only way is to let 
Oh no. Is he gonna do it? He doesn't have a choice, does he? Oh, they're going this route? Okay. Yeah, back up. <laughs> yeah, I'm so. Y'all fucked up today. Y'all fucked up today. Wait, what? He got hit? She hit him! They weren't paying attention. But he was... Man... But he was in the av Avatar state. You've got to get out of here. I'll hold them off as long How? as I can. I guess you can still get hit in the Avatar state, right? You're not invincible. Man, this is so fucked. Come on, Iroh. Oh, he's giving up. Yeah, bro, he's disappointed as hell. Man, he got hit with lightning, huh? In the back? She was waiting for this. The spirit water. Good thing she saved it. Oh, yeah, he got messed up. That's a hole in your back, gang. Okay. I mean, obviously, he's alive. He got fucked up. I betrayed Uncle. Yeah. No, he betrayed you. Today. You restored your own honor. No, you lost the little bit of honor you had left by betraying your uncle. The Earth Kingdom has fallen. Damn, man. They're gonna end this book on an L like that? Wow. We lost? We lost big time. No, you can't do that. Damn, bro. I thought he was gonna just end everybody in there when he entered the Avatar state. I always kind of, I guess I was thrown off guard because I always kind of considered the Avatar state to be this invincible, impenetrable, impenetrable shield and power. And yeah, I guess, you know, just hit him with lightning. I, I mean, I guess that works. And he was still, I feel like he was still floating up. He was still kind of charging up. So maybe she like hit him. Yeah, he, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I kind of was a little ignorant and naive to think he was this invincible being in the Avatar state. Yeah, he had a goddamn hole in his back. I wonder if normal water um, would have done the trick because she did use the special water if that was needed. I'm assuming maybe she uh, she probably went straight to the spirit water. She didn't even try with normal water because yeah, that, that was a wound wound. Like that was death on your back right there. She, uh, yeah, he was he was close. I I assumed this was gonna be a shit show, but I assumed they were gonna like you know kind of you know come out on top at the end. But no, like they took Bossing say the Earth Kingdom has fallen. The Earth King is still useless. I'm still mad. I'm gonna cook you whenever I think of you. I'm gonna cook you. But whatever. <laughs> um, and Zuko went rogue on us once more. I guess this is the first time he kind of went rogue on us because before he was just always a straight line. He was who he was, hunting the Avatar. And I don't know, man. I'm always the biggest Zuko defender, but I'm kind of upset. Like, I guess I got to get over that. But yeah, I, I talked about it like it's tough for him. I get it. But still, like eventually you got to grow up, my guy, especially with, with all of the guidance you're getting from your uncle. And now, like, look how disappointed he was in the end. Even he's, like, kind of at a loss for words now. And that says a lot. I guess Azula just hit the right points, you know? Almost like Ty Lee hitting pressure points. She knew what to say. Obviously, she knows her brother. She knows his weaknesses. She knows what he seeks, what he's looking for. And she hit him, like, right there to kind of soften him up and get him on her side. I don't understand why she did it. Like... Oh, she said she needs him. I don't know if she meant that. It's kind of weird. I, I guess in that moment, maybe she thought he'll be useful. And I guess in that fight as well, when she was fighting them on her own, she kind of needed him. That's because there's no way she suddenly has like empathetic feelings for her brother. Maybe, I don't know, maybe deep, deep down, locked away with six locks and seven keys with cement and metal and guards down all the way down there. She has some sort of feeling for her brother. I doubt it though, because without hesitation, she wanted to capture him. And then she she made him a war criminal after he deserted. I guess, he, you know, the deserting makes you a war criminal. So you made yourself a war criminal. But yeah, she seemed really ruthless and didn't think about it twice. And now suddenly she's like, Zuko, 
I need you. I need you, my brother. And yeah, you restored your honor today. I don't know. I don't trust that. That seems a little out of the blue. They captured Iroh, so that's not good. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen to him. I know Zuko's gonna eventually feel like shit. Or he already does feel like shit. He said, you know, I betrayed uncle. Yeah, you did. You did. Like, what the hell, bro? What was all that, you know, serving tea and... and, and uh, uh, whatever bro i'm upset I'm, i gotta calm down i'll talk about it more next time it's unlucky that Toph and Sokka were you know um otherwise occupied because yeah they would have been a big help especially Toph. like no disrespect Sokka, but yeah i feel like Toph in a fight at least in a fight is more of an asset Sokka's an asset don't get me wrong he's an asset too but Toph's more of an asset, let's be real, in a fight. But I don't know, there were so many Daily Agent at the end. Azula, Zuko, but with Iroh, Toph, Sokka. Um, yeah, but Aang got hit with lightning. That kind of just screwed everything up. I don't know, he let his guard down, I guess. Now, my question is, when he opened that chakra, did he let go already? Like, or did he kind of let go of his feelings already? Are they gone now? Or is it back because it kind of got interrupted? Because we see the big freaking Cosmo thing, you know, Cosmo Energy Ang kind of collapsing and everything, the bridge collapsing. So maybe he didn't fully trans finish the transformation um, because it would suck if it didn't work and now he kind of let go of everything he loves that would just be a lose 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 situation the whole spirit water thing with zuko i kind of found it a bit out of the blue i said in the reaction i think that she was just willing to use it i, I guess she just suggested it I, it shows her good nature i guess but it seemed a little fast after him chasing you for all this time you have a 10 minute talk and you're like yeah let me give you this holy water that i might need in situations like we've just seen um, to heal your scar and then he just goes around and betrays her like imagine if she would have used it in that moment and then he betrays them like shit katara i get it you're a good person really good person i i, I defend zuko all the time but that was a little quick I'm glad she didn't do it and even uh, let's say if she had like a lot of it i don't think zuko should heal his scar i don't think he would want it at the end if he really thinks about it i think you should how can I say this? You should um, see it as a reminder almost and as a beacon of strength and build it into that, not as a shameful thing. And I know it's always going to bear all these bad memories, but it, like every time you look into the mirror, you should think of who did this to you. And then it should kind of shift your focus and your loyalty towards people that actually care about you, like your uncle, and not still fight for that guy's love who did that to you. I mean, he's confused. Every son looks for his father's love. He's going to have to grow up become an adult to finally realize that what he's looking for he has already found in somebody else and in somebody else's eye roll he can stop looking for that approval and that honor and that love because he already found it he just found it in somebody else he just didn't realize that yet unfortunately so let's hope he's got a one more book zuko you got one more book to get your shit together okay so freaking get on it you know i don't know write a journal go see a therapist i don't know what the hell you got to do but do it okay okay let's move on from zuko long fang got absolutely vibed he got embarrassed he got psychologically analyzed and just treated like a child by azula yeah i mean that was just brutal i feel bad for the guy but yeah whatever it is what it is <laughs> shit you got played bro the Dai Li is just like a bunch of hoes bro they don't give a shit they're like who's who's got the biggest stick who's got the strongest weapon who's the winning side re-rocking with you that's basically what they're saying they got not a loyal bone in their body god like oh my. like not even long fang like you weren't loyal to the earth king then you weren't loyal to long fang now you're loyal to azula the freaking princess of the fire nation like this shit you're basically mercenaries like the highest bidder will get your loyalty i mean i don't know i don't know why i expected them to be different i just thought because earth was represented as this strong nation and to see them just sh you know shift loyalty like that obviously there were soldiers and generals that were not like that that got overthrown but it's i don't know it's kind of weird i guess just shady people got taken into the, the Dai Li, you know, it's like a secret police kind of thing. So I guess just shady people that don't have any loyalty. Yeah, I enjoyed this book more than book one, but I enjoyed book one a lot uh, actually as well. Like I, I had no problems with book one. I know a lot of people say book two, you know, kind of halfway through book two is where it really gets going. And yeah, it's true. Like it was really different and I, I enjoyed it a little bit more, but nothing wrong with book uh, one, but book two definitely picked up. It definitely picked up on speed 
and pace and story wise and i think when i felt it the most was the desert episode when ang snapped and got emotional that kind of really hit me deep to see him like that because we saw a different side of him yeah it's gonna be interesting i wonder how they're gonna like i don't know i'm excited bro i'm excited i'm not gonna talk anymore i'm excited for this next book book two amazing and i can't wait to start a new journey with book three i'll see you guys next